Well hello children, it's Reverend Phil and it's really good to be with you today even though it's a little bit strange because I'm here in my study and you are at home most of you but it's great to be here all the same and I'm going to start by lighting the candle on our worship table. So, do you remember the response? The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. And today I want to introduce the school value of hope. Hope. Now let's think for a moment about what hope means. Hmm. Suppose I say, I hope that I am going to be a great golfer. And I'm going to win tournaments all over the world, like Tiger Woods. And look, I've already got a golf ball, so I'm well on my way to being a great golfer. What do you think about that? Is that a good hope to have? Well, I might want it to happen, to be true. But is there a good reason to think that it will happen? Is it likely that I'm going to be better than Tiger Woods at golf? No, that's not hopeful. That's hopeless, isn't it? Hopeless idea. Let's take another example. I want to be a famous pop star on X Factor. And I've already got Got me shades, and I've already got me guitar, and I can sing. Sweet home I didn't even sing that right, did I? That was dreadful. That's not a good hope to have. That's hopeless, not hopeful. So what does hope actually mean? Well, there's a book called the Cambridge English Dictionary, which is a very good book. And it says that hope means this. Hope is to want something to happen or to be true and usually to have a good reason to think that it might happen and be true. So there's two parts to it. To want something to happen and to think there's a good chance that it might happen. So let's take another example. Maybe you hope that you'll get a good mark in your next school test. How about that one? Well, you want it to happen. You want to get a good mark and do well. And, and it might happen. It might very well happen, especially if you carry on working hard at home. So that is a good thing to hope for. Hope is wanting something to happen and to think there's a good chance that it might. Now sometimes we can worry about what's going to happen in the future. And lots of people are very worried right now because of this scary virus which has made many people very, very ill indeed. And it's why our school is closed at the moment for most of us. And we worry whether everyone we know is going to stay safe and well. Well, the Bible tells us, put your hope in God. Put your hope in God. So the hope to be rich or famous or a great golfer or pop star, it may or may not come true. But God is always there. And he will never let you down. He is our true hope. There's a lovely verse in the book of Jeremiah in the Bible. Jeremiah was a prophet that told lots of people about God. And Jeremiah said, he wrote these words, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to give you a future with hope. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to give you a future 
with them. There's a story about a young boy who one day went out with his dad into his garden. And in the garden they had this huge tall tree. And this little boy was very agile and he climbed up this tall tree one step at a time very carefully. But then when he got near the top he got stuck. What was he going to do? And the other thing is he wore glasses and his glasses fell off and everything was a bit of a blur. He couldn't see very well. His father, down on the ground, looked up and he shouted up, Don't worry, you'll be all right. Just jump. I'll catch you. Well, the little boy couldn't really see very well, but he could see it was a bit of a way down. And he couldn't see exactly where his dad was because his eyes were blurry because his glasses had fallen off. So he was a bit scared to leave the tree. But his father kept yelling, don't worry, jump, I'll catch you. And the boy shouted down, but dad, I can't see you. And the father gently said to him, but I can see you. And that's what matters. So jump. And the boy did jump. And he landed safely because the father caught him in his arms. I can see you and that's all that matters. Christians believe that God can see us. Someone once said, I don't know what the future holds, but I do know who holds the future. God holds each of our futures right now. So we can put our hope in him. So will you repeat after me those verses from Jeremiah, those words that he spoke? I know the plans I have for you. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, says the Lord. Plans to give you a future plans to give you a future with hope, with hope. So let's say the whole thing together. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to give you a future with hope. So shall we pray? Let's bow our head, close our eyes and I'll say a short prayer. Dear God, help us to put our hope in you, that even though we can't see you, you can see us. And we pray for all those things we might be worried about. Help us, Lord, to put our hope in you and to trust that we will be safe and well. Amen. Well, it was lovely to join you, children, and I hope that either myself or Kathy will join you again very soon. Bye-bye.